Chapter 1.2 The Thief's Story Ruskin Bond, 1934, is an Indian author of British descent. He lives with his adopted family in Landol, in Masuri, India. The Indian Council for Child Education has recognized his role in the growth of children's literature in India. He got the Sahitya Academy Award in 1992 for Our Trees Still Grow in Dehra for his published work in English. He was awarded the Padam Shri in 1999 and Padma Bhushan in 2014. Descent means origin. I was still a thief when I met Anil. And though only 15, I was an experienced and fairly successful hand. Anil was watching a wrestling match when I approached him. He was about 25, a tall, lean fellow, and he looked easygoing, kind and simple enough for my purpose. Wrestling is a type of sport. I hadn't had much luck of late and thought I might be able to get into the young man's confidence. You look a bit of a wrestler yourself, I said. A little flattery helps in making friends. Flattery means insincere praise. So do you, he replied, which put me off for a moment because at that time I was rather thin. Well, I said modestly, I do wrestle a bit. What's your name? Modestly means without boasting in a humble way. Hari Singh, I lied. I took a new name every month. That kept me ahead of the police and my former employers. After that introduction, Anil talked about the well-oiled wrestlers who were grunting, lifting and throwing each other about. Grunting means making low guttural sounds. I didn't have much to say. Anil walked away. I followed casually. Casually means in a relaxed way. Hello again. He said. I gave him my most appealing smile. I want to work for you, I said. Appealing means attention getting or attractive. But I can't pay you. I thought that over for a minute. Perhaps I had misjudged my man. Misjudged means to form wrong opinion or conclusion. I asked, Can you feed me? Can you cook? I can cook. I lied again. If you can cook, then maybe I can feed you. He took me to his room over the Jamna sweet shop and told me I could sleep on the balcony. But the meal I cooked that night must have been terrible because Anil gave it to a stray dog and told me to be off. Terrible means Extremely horrible. Stray means homeless or a random animal. But I just hung around, smiling in my most appealing way. And he couldn't help laughing. Later, he patted me on the head and said, never mind. He'd teach me to cook. He also taught me to write my name and said he would soon teach me to write whole sentences and to add numbers. I was grateful. I knew that once I could write like an educated man, there would be no limit to what I could achieve. It was quite pleasant working for Anil. I made the tea in the morning and then would take my time buying the day's supplies, usually making a profit of about a rupee a day. I think he knew I made a little money this way, but he did not seem to mind. Anil made money by fits and starts. He would borrow one week, lend the next. He kept worrying about his next check, but as soon as it arrived, he would go out and celebrate. It seems he wrote for magazines, a queer way to make a living. By fits and starts means, in short, irregular intervals. A queer means strange.
One evening, he came home with a small bundle of notes, saying he had just sold a book to a publisher. At night, I saw him tuck the money under the mattress. Tuck means to fold. I had been working for Anil for almost a month, and apart from cheating on the shopping, had not done anything in my line of work. I had every opportunity for doing so. Anil had given me a key to the door. and i could come and go as i pleased he was the most trusting person i had ever met and that is why it was so difficult to rob him it's easy to rob a greedy man because he can afford to be robbed but it's difficult to rob a careless man sometimes he doesn't even notice he's been robbed and that takes all the pleasure out of the work greedy man means selfish man Well, it's time I did some real work. I told myself, I'm out of practice. And if I don't take the money, he'll only waste it on his friends. After all, he doesn't even pay me. Anil was asleep. A beam of moonlight stepped over the balcony and fell on the bed. I sat up on the floor, considering the situation. If I took the money. I could catch the 10:30 express to Lucknow. Slipping out of the blanket, I crept up to the bed. Crept up means moved slowly and carefully. Anil was sleeping peacefully. His face was clear and unlined. Even I had no marks on my face, though mine were mostly scars. Unlined means showing no sign of violence. or anxiety my hand slid under the mattress searching for the notes when i found them i drew them out without a sound anil sighed in his sleep and turned on his side towards me sigh means a long breath out i was startled and quickly crawled out of the room startled means scared crawled means dragged hands and knees along the ground when i was on the road i began to run i had the notes at my waist held there by the string of my pajamas i slowed down to a walk and counted the notes 600 rupees in 50s i could live like an oil rich arab for a week or two Oil rich Arab means a rich Arabian man owning oil wells. When I reached the station, I did not stop at the ticket office. I had never bought a ticket in my life, but dashed straight to the platform. The Lucknow Express was just moving out. The train had still to pick up speed, and I should have been able to jump into one of the carriages, but I hesitated. For some reason, I can't explain. and i lost the chance to get away carriage means a compartment of train hesitated means pause before doing when the train had gone i found myself standing alone on the deserted platform i had no idea where to spend the night i had no friends believing that friends were more trouble than help and i did not want to make anyone curious by staying at one of the small hotels near the station The only person I knew really well was the man I had robbed. Leaving the station, I walked slowly through the bazaar. In my short career as a thief, I had made a study of men's faces when they had lost their goods. Greedy man showed fear. The rich man showed anger. The poor man showed acceptance, but I knew that Anil's face, when he discovered the theft, would show only a touch of sadness, not for the loss of money, but for the loss of trust. I found myself in the maidan and sat down on a bench. The night was chilly. It was early November, and a light drizzle added to my discomfort. Drizzle means raining lightly. Soon it was raining quite heavily. My shirt and pajamas 
stuck to my skin and a cold wind blew the rain across my face. I went back to the bazaar and sat down in the shelter of the clock tower. The clock showed midnight. I felt for the notes. They were damp from the rain. Damp means wet or moist. Anil's money. In the morning, he would probably have given me two or three rupees to go to the cinema. But now, I had it all. Probably means maybe or likely to happen. I couldn't cook his meals, run to the bazaar or learn to write whole sentences anymore. I had forgotten about them in the excitement of the theft. Whole sentences, I knew, could one day bring me more than a few hundred rupees. It was a simple matter to steal and sometimes just as simple to be caught. But to be a really big man, a clever and respected man, was something else. I should go back to Anil, I told myself, if only to learn to read and write. I hurried back to the room, feeling very nervous. For it is much easier to steal something than to return it, undetected. Hurried back means went back in a hurry. I opened the door quietly, then stood in the doorway in clouded moonlight. Anil was still asleep. I crept to the head of the bed and my hand came up with the notes. I felt his breath on my hand. I remained still for a minute. Then my hand found the edge of the mattress and slipped under it with the notes. I awoke late next morning to find that Anil had already made the tea. He stretched out his hand towards me. There was a 50 rupee note between his fingers. My heart sank. Heart sank means felt depressed. I thought I had been discovered. I made some money yesterday, he explained. Now you'll be paid regularly. Made some money means earn some money. My spirits rose. But when I took the note, I saw it was still wet from the night's rain. Spirits rose means became very hopeful. Today we'll start writing sentences, he said. He knew, but neither his lips nor his eyes showed anything. I smiled at Anil in my most appealing way and the smile came by itself without any effort. Appealing means attractive. Factual question 1. At what is the narrator quite successful? Answer The narrator is fairly successful at robbing. 2. Who does I refer to in the story? I refers to the narrator who is a thief. 3. Why did the narrator change his name every month? Answer. The narrator changed his name every month as that kept him ahead of police and his employers. 4. What favours did Anil do for the narrator? Answer. Anil taught the narrator to cook and write his name. He also promised to teach him to write sentences. 5. What proves that the narrator still practiced deceit? Answer. The narrator made a profit of about a rupee a day while buying the day supplies, thus cheating Anil. This proves that the narrator still practiced deceit. 6. What could have caused the scars on Hari's face? Hari was a small time thief. Escaping the police and his former employers, or small fights with others must have caused the scars on his face. 7. Why did Hari hesitate to board the train? Answer. Anil was a simple, kind and trusting man. The narrator hesitated to run away with his money as he would have felt guilty of robbing such a man. Somewhere his conscience pricked him for betraying Anil. He hesitated to board the train. 8. Why does Hari believe that friends were more trouble than help? The narrator believed that friends were more trouble than help as they would either turn out to be the link for the police to reach the narrator or he must have been cheated by his friends in the past. 9. 
What is face reading? Face reading is an ancient art of analyzing a person's character based on their facial features. 10. What were Hari's regrets as he pondered over his theft? Answer. As he pondered over his theft, Hari regretted that he would never be able to cook Anil's meals, run to the bazaar, or learn to write whole sentences anymore. He felt sorry that he would never be able to become a clever, respected man by learning to read and write. 11. Why did Hari feel nervous? The thief had robbed Anil who had trusted him of his money. But he changed his mind about escaping and decided to return. It was easier for him to steal the money but keeping it back without getting caught by Anil was difficult. This made him nervous. 12. Does Anil realize that he has been robbed? Yes, Anil realizes that he has been robbed because the notes are still damp from the rain when he touches them in the morning. 13. Why did Hari give a genuine appealing smile? Hari gave a genuine appealing smile to Anil for having forgiven him for the attempt to rob him and for giving him an opportunity to start life anew. English Workshop 1. One, complete the web diagram. Anil's virtues. Answer, kind-hearted, forgiving, helpful, compassionate. Hari's vices. Answer, helpful, deceitful, lying, robber. Insert the appropriate word or phrase given below in the sentences that follow. Flattery, appealing, by fits and starts. Dashed to undetected spirits rose. A. I dashed to the school gate when I heard the school bell ring. B. After the death of my pet dog, my spirits rose when dad got me a new pup. C. Do not stoop to flattery just to gain something from someone. D. The artist completes his paintings by fits and starts. E. The crime went undetected for 11 years. F. When the baby saw its mother, it gave an appealing smile. 3. A. Find from the text the collocation for the following. 1. Stray dog. 2. Careless man. 3. Ticket office.
Four, walked slowly. Five, light drizzle. Six, whole sentences. Seven, risen spirits. B, complete the compound words from the story. One, oil rich. Two, fifty rupees. Three, easy going. Four, clock tower. Five, moonlight. C, pick out from the story three. Or four examples of code mixing used in English. Answer: Bazaar. Two, maidan. Three, pajamas. Four, read the story carefully and complete the table. Total number of characters: two. Names: Hari. Age: fifteen years. Physical appearance: thin. Earned money by robbing, stealing. Qualities: grateful, eager to learn. Anil, twenty-five years, tall and lean. Writing: kind, simple, forgiving, compassionate. Five. Complete the given sentences. A. Anil kept Hari as a cook because. Hari needed a job, and Anil thought he would be able to teach Hari to read and write in return for the food Hari would cook for him. B. Hari was grateful to Anil for teaching him to cook and write his name. C. Hari continued making money by making small profits every day while shopping for supplies. D. Anil didn't hand over Hari to the police as he believed that kindness and compassion. Would reform Hari. E. The moral of the story is: love, kindness, and trust have the power to change a criminal into a gentleman. Six. Think and write in your own words in your notebook. A. Why did Anil employ Hari as a cook, although he could not afford to pay him? Answer. Although Anil could not afford to pay Hari. He employed him as a cook, as he must have thought that Hari is a needy person. Moreover, he was planning to pay Hari in kind by teaching him to cook, write his name, add numbers, and write whole sentences. B. What did Hari learn from Anil in the beginning? Answer: In the beginning, Hari made a profit of a rupee per day while buying daily supplies for Anil. C. Why did Anil hand over Hari to the police? What effect would it have on Hari? Answer: Anil did not hand Hari over to the police because that would result in Hari transforming into a criminal from a small-time thief. Besides, it would have left a permanent smear on Hari's mind at the tender age he was in. Moreover, Anil decided to be different and reform Hari through kindness and sympathy by forgiving him. Hari had also chosen to return the money by coming back, although he could have easily fled. D. Do you feel Anil's way of handling a thief like Hari was effective? Justify your answer. Answer: Yes, I feel Anil handled a thief like Hari extremely effectively by overlooking his small thefts and concentrating on equipping him with the skills of reading, writing, and adding number. Anil was indirectly reforming Hari and teaching him the way to earn a living in a respectful manner. His decision of not handing Hari over to the police was also a wise one, as that would have transformed Hari into a criminal forever. The results are seen in the fact that Hari returns to Anil even after stealing the money because somewhere he feels guilty of his deeds of letting Anil down and the fact that he could earn more in a respectful manner. E. What fact had Anil used to change Hari's dishonest ways? Answer: Anil started teaching Hari to write his name and promised to teach Hari to write whole sentences and add numbers. This ushered a new hope in Hari that one day he would be able to earn more than what he did by robbing. He also decided to pay Hari for cooking as soon as he was able to do so, so that he doesn't have to steal money. And above all, he blindly trusted Hari, which made it difficult for Hari to rob him and run away. F. 
and the smile came by itself without any effort say why when do people give fake smiles answer the smile came by itself because hari realized although anil knew the truth he had forgiven him and it was a load off his win he also knew that he was going to teach him to write whole sentences so that he could earn more and give up his dishonest ways and that was the reason he had returned to anil in the first place people give fake smiles either to impress others or to hide their true emotions 7 write a character sketch of hari singh with the help of the following points using the paragraph format hari singh's background his dishonesty his aspirations his courage to change himself answer hari singh is a seasoned small time thief he comes across as a manipulative young boy who had cheated his former employers and escaped the police he speaks lies and takes up a new name to elude the police he has a specific modus operandi to steal money he is a perfect example of how old habits die hard although he meets a trusting simple employer like anil he doesn't hesitate to rob him of his money by making a profit of a rupee daily while buying everyday supplies he even robs anil of his money and decides to run away however deep down inside this deceitful young robber is a boy who is willing and open to corrections and who doesn't mind being taught to cook the eagerness to learn to read and write is what brings him back to anil no matter how hard he tries he cannot bring himself to betray anil's trust and run away with his money he misses the conversation with anil and his friendship with him which comes across as more valuable to him than the money he steals he is grateful to anil for bringing about a change in him by educating him he is courageous enough to change himself by returning to anil knowing very well that if anil found the robbery he could get him arrested perhaps these qualities are what make him appear more human than criminal in our eyes as we feel happy to see him reformed in the end 8 frame wh questions to get the answers underlined below change the first person pronouns to the second person where necessary a i hurried back to the room answer where did you hurry back b i had made a study of men's faces answer what had you made c i drew them out without a sound how did you draw them out d the poor man showed acceptance who showed acceptance e i made tea in the morning answer when did you make tea 9 imagine that anil catches hari red handed when hari is stealing the money from under the mattress compose a short dialogue between the two which reflects anil's shock and hari's repeated apologies Answer Anil is fast asleep as Hari enters his room Hari thinking to himself I must hurry up if I have to take the 10:30 express to Lucknow Hari checks whether Anil is asleep and then slides his hand under the mattress Anil alarmed by the disturbance Hari what are you doing here so late in the night Hari No nothing I had just come to put the bed sheet Anil switching on the light I can't believe my eyes hurry you have tried to steal my money hurry no i'm sorry i was just anil don't you speak a word i have almost caught you red handed all this while i thought i would be able to pull you out of your wretched immoral ways but i was wrong hurry no sir i'm sorry i didn't mean to betray you anil how ungrateful can you be i'm shocked no more than that i'm hurt I had never imagined that you would pay me back for my kindness in this way. Hari, please forgive me. I couldn't resist the temptation. I'm extremely sorry. I won't do it ever again. Anil, what makes you think I can trust you again? You have disappointed me. I learned today that old habits die hard. Anil sits with his hand on his head while Hari sits by his feet pleading and sobbing.